For years, rumors have circulated that within Area 51 is a large Air Force base where top secret military testing and experiments occur. Area 51 probably has Aurora aircraft, the successor of the SR-71. I know it's got a lot of, they're called unmanned aerial vehicles. These are these remote control devices, which can even fire rockets. Area 51 is exempted from federal, state, interstate, and local environmental laws. And when questioned, the government's response is no comment. There's quite a bit that happens just over the mountains here. You see military exercises, you see flares, you see airplanes, helicopters, unmanned vehicles. Um, other than that, you see things you can't explain. It's difficult to locate Area 51 since it's not on any map. The airspace over the area is heavily restricted and high fences surround the perimeter. Trespass here at your own risk. If you're on the ground, the, uh, there are sensors all over the place to pick up motion of things that shouldn't be there. And as one guy called them, the camo dudes, guys in camouflage outfits in their jeeps will come traipsing after you. If you're in the air, they will send fighters up after you. The helicopters have some serious armament. When they shoot you, you're going to be dust. But there's one rumor that always generates the most excitement. I thought that they had reverse engineered the spacecraft that supposedly they found crashed in this area. That rumor stems from the experience of Bob Lazar, who claims he worked at an ultra-secret division of Area 51 called S-4. S-4 was built and maintained only for one reason, and that was to house and to test uh, any other recovered alien technology vehicles. Lazar says he was a trained physicist at the Los Alamos nuclear facility and that in 1989 he was approached about a secret government research project and flown to Area 51. Lazar initially thought the spaceship had been developed by the U.S. military. So they said this is an alien craft and we want to be able to duplicate it and we want to know how the thing works. As the senior staff physicist, Lazar was in charge of analyzing the ship's propulsion system. Here was an incredibly complex system. There weren't, there was nothing even as simple as wiring connecting subsystems together. So the, it operated more like magic. Every single waste thing that was going on was being utilized by something else. So it just, it was, for all intents and purposes, completely perfect. Over the next few months, Lazar and his team made little progress in understanding how the craft worked. We were dealing with something that had, could have some just fantastic impact, but at the time, we didn't even have the slightest chance on how to duplicate the system or really even understand what was going on. It wasn't your typical day job. Lazar would get called into work erratically, sometimes late at night. After six months, the calls stopped coming. Lazar told a few close friends about his experience, and then things got scary. And they started following me around more than usual. And friends that I hung around, they even started noticing uh, people following us around. And I started getting a little concerned, thinking, am I all of a sudden going to get wiped out in some way? And this really started looking like a Mission Impossible uh, episode. Lazar claims he went public with this story to protect himself. But many people, like UFO expert Stanton Friedman, don't buy any of it, calling Lazar a fraud. He isn't a nuclear physicist. He doesn't have a degree from anywhere. Didn't go to MIT or Caltech, as he claimed. That he didn't work for Los Alamos. He worked at Los Alamos for a subcontractor. But Lazar insists that the government deleted all of his academic and professional files. They've gone to great lengths to discredit everything that I've said and successfully so in many respects something they always told me it's one of the easiest things to keep secret because it's so unbelievable and that really is true if i heard this story from somebody else i don't think i'd i'd buy it it's pretty far-fetched only the government knows for certain if bob lazar's story is fact or fiction but the truth is out